Hi guys, my name is Darren B-Side Young. I'm here at our sunny South Florida headquarters for DOS Audio of America. And today we're gonna to show you how to get wireless professional audio streamed to our speakers. So when you're ready to connect multiple devices and you do not need to stream audio, we're going to connect with DOS Link Group Manager to connect and control multiple zones of speakers and all of the control parameters that exist on each individual device or you can do them in groups and control the entire cluster or zones of those DOS Link capable products. You would go into the back of your speaker and connect, create new link and select DOS Link. That now allows me to have multiple speakers in various locations of the venue or setup and connect them and control them all with the DOS Link Group Manager. At this point, I'm not trying to stream audio to the speakers. I'm trying to do control of zones or groups or hangs, for example. I'm gonna go into my settings and just to double check and make sure I can see all of the speakers that are able and ready to be connected with my DOS Link Group Manager. So just on stage right now, I've got a Vantec 20A ending in 1E, one ending in BB. I've also got a Vantec 12A, and I've also got a Altia 715A. The beauty is now with DOS Link Group Manager, I can now go in, and for example, if I had a left and right hang of Vantec 20, I would be able to connect either three or four per side and have either left and right individual control or I could have a control over the entire group as one complete group. We're gonna start over with the group here. You have your settings controls, which are default settings, your dimming, which is the screen itself, standby mode, which is the power save mode available on any of the DOS control products. You have the ability to adjust your delay in meters or feet. You also have an expander, which acts as a noise gate. You have a demo mode of the DOS Link Group Manager if you wanted to figure out how to work it out without watching this video. You also have some data and information about the app itself. We're gonna go back to home and select the plus button here. We're gonna rename this group Main Hang. And I'm gonna select the, mo the system model is going to be the Vantec 20A to make it easier for me to find those speakers. You select that box or group that you just created. And first we need to add a device. You see the available devices here. That was the BB or the 1E. I'm gonna add that to the main hang. And now I have closed this group and you can see if I wanted to ping and figure out which was left or which was right, I have the ability to tap and you'll see the speaker will flash, letting me know which one is left and which one is right. That's how you ping your speakers to know exactly the order or the arrangement that you wish to make of your group. Here I have a gain control of the entire group. I can do it in increments or I can use the slider. You have the number of units right now, I only have one per side, but if I had three or four speakers per hang, you would want to adjust this to match high frequency to adjust the compensation of low frequency coupling. Typically, when you have an array of speakers, the low frequency tends to uh, couple together and increase more than the high frequency will. So to level off that balance, you adjust the number of speakers to match what you have in each hang. That way you get a complete balance. You have your high pass filter, which you can select as off, 63 Hertz, V118A, which is the matching subwoofer that can either be flown or ground sack. And then you have your standard 100 Hertz crossover point. You also have the ability to turn off the logo and either limit, as you can see, I'm controlling the group at one time. I can mute that entire group, or if I wanted to go into the individual speakers themselves, I could have that control. It's up to you. You have your 
meters of in and out per group. I can add other devices to this group if I wanted to. But right now, we're going to go back and show you that I have two in my main hang, and now we will go and find another speaker model, which is gonna be the Altia 715A here, and we're gonna call that side fill. I've now created another group. I go in and I'm gonna see slightly different options because Vantech 20 is a fixed curve. Altia and Vantech 15, 12, or 215A are full range speakers. So I have more presets to choose from. And I also have three band or three level EQ, low, mid, and high band EQ that I can adjust, which is a stackable EQ on top of the presets. You still have your gain control and you still have your mute and unmuting and your logo, which allows you to either turn the logo off and on or set it to limit mode. When you're in limit mode, if you do clip the limiter on the speaker, the LED light will flash. But first, let's add that speaker and then we can show you how to control it. You tap on the speaker. I have now added the Altia to the side fill. We're gonna close that group. We're gonna back out, we're gonna add another group. This time, we're gonna grab a Vantec 12A, which is up here on stage, and we're gonna just call this delay. Create that group. Again, these controls, I have the ability to change the name or delete the group. I can mute the entire group from this surface panel here, or I can even solo that group, muting the other individual groups. Gain control, presets, high pass filters, and three band EQ. Mute, logo option, and in and out on the controls. I'm now adding that Bantech speaker. and you hear a beep or a ping, and you have the ability to now control all of the different levels, EQ, throw, whatever DOS control is available on the speaker itself, you have the ability to do that directly with DOS Link Group Manager. So now we're gonna bring in some analog audio that's gonna be fed from a mixing console, a DJ booth, or a front of house, for example. Right now, we're gonna send it to the Vantech 20s. Remember, any group or zones of speakers that you wanna control, you have the ability to control them wirelessly, but you do have to have analog or XLR cabling between those groups or from an audio source. a little bit so in my main hang I have these two speakers and I'm going to ping one or the other so you can see I have the ability to turn the VU meters on for that speaker and the VU meters on for the other speaker And I have gain control over the group. I also have the adjustment of the number of units from one unit, two, all the way up to five. I have a high pass filter off, or I can set it to the Vantech 118A, which is our stackable and flyable paired matching Vantech speaker that has rigging hardware for you to lock directly in to the Vantech 20. I can turn the logos off and on, or I can set it to limit mode. I have the ability to mute 
that individual group. And again, VU meters of in and out for that entire group. If I wanted to see the levels of controls in other groups, like the side field or the delays, remember you do have to cable. Currently, I don't have audio cable set to the other speakers. I just wanted to show you that with Dosslink Group Manager, all things are possible for you to manage, monitor, and maintain all of your DOS control settings. Instead of running to the back of each cabinet, you can do everything from the touch of a button at the palm of your hand with the DOSLINK Group Manager. Any more questions? Feel free to reach out to us online. It's www.dosaudio.com for more information. Thanks for watching.